The world has gotten much faster than it, than it used to be. Situational awareness, knowing what's going on uh, around you is obviously very important. It speeds your decision making uh, capability. We need to be able to get the information back. For the fleet, if we're moving into a hostile operation or a contentious area, the more information they have at their fingertips as to what's happening around that battle group provides for better decision making within the battle group as to what to do next. So what we're doing here today is we're showing a capability to get full motion video and intelligence information out to the carrier strike group C to provide better decision making for the Admiral and the Captain. So SAIL is known as a Surface Aviation Interoperability Lab. So one of the things SAIL does best is that we basically can be representative of the, the surface environment. In doing that, we have several different combat suites. So we can be your battle group. We can be what you need to test with. So we can be a frigate. We can be a littoral combat ship. We can be a destroyer. And we can also be a carrier, CVN. So we have various assets that are going to be out there in real life for the uh, Trident Warrior exercise. So uh, we will be able to show that local video can be received and collected, consolidated, and distributed out uh, over various links and receive them back on the GBS, the Global Broadcast Service. The Coast Guard is helping us out with uh, some training on their end. They're going to do a boat takedown and search and seizure. And uh, from our aspect, they're trying to mimic uh, support ships at sea and a boarding party and how that information could possibly come back into the carrier via line of sight and beyond line of sight for a better situational awareness. Today, there's no line of sight ship to ship capability for moving full motion video streams back and forth. So what this does is it drives down the satellite requirement to each of those individual ships by having one ship be the collector of that information and being able to push it around the battle group. What we're doing is taking existing technologies that are out there right now and we're combining them in a way that hasn't been done before, in a way to save costs, reduce risk to the most important person, which is the warfighter. The capability we're bringing saves bandwidth, uh, maintains data integrity, and provides a cap uh, collaboration capability with Intel centers back home. A lot of people think that you have to go and do all this stuff live and for the first time out somewhere where it's very expensive. It's very expensive to do testing with real ships and real aircraft. So we really sell the cell facility as a risk reduction place for any modeling sim or simulation technology that you would need to come and use. 